Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with our fourth edition's online medical tourism, Turkish medical tourism exhibition. Uh, this is our fourth uh, exhibition we are conducting in the region. Uh, we started with Ukraine, Russia, then Balkan countries. Now we are in Eastern Europe, Romania, Moldova, and Poland countries. Uh, we are having here uh, with us uh, in the opening ceremony, uh, distinguished uh, guest from Minister of Trade, Turkish Minister of Trade, the head of the departments, Mr. Tarek, and also Mrs. Elif from Kishinev, our trade consular, and Mrs. Sude, uh, our consular from Bukresh, and from Warsaw, Mr. Attila with us, and also there will be other distinguished guests as a speaker with us today in the opening ceremony. Uh, well, I would like to thank to all our exhibitors from Turkey. We have about 35 uh, very valuable exhibitors from clinics and hospitals, general hospitals, university hospitals, as well as travel <clears throat> agencies, thermal resorts, spa and wellness resorts, and health uh, being well-being uh, resorts uh, in, in Turkey. Uh, participating in our exhibition uh, with us today. We are starting our first day and uh, after our uh, opening ceremony, there will be very valuable speaker as well. Professors and doctors uh, will gonna, uh, will gonna uh, share their experience in our webinar programs, as well as uh, we have uh, the B2B programs will be start after our uh, ceremony. Uh, between our uh, Turkish exhibitors and our participants. So far, we have uh, more than 750 uh, registered uh, professional professionals from three countries, uh, from Moldova, Romania, and Poland. Uh, we have doctors, we have insurance companies, we have travel agencies, medical tour tourism facilitators uh, has been, and uh, some charity foundation as well. Uh, has been registered in our uh, platform uh, for uh, this week that they can conduct and they can uh, organize their B2B meetings and uh, build a new partnership, a new collaboration between Turkish healthcare industry and between uh, our participant uh, targeted countries, which is three country this time. Last period, we have done seven, eight countries, but uh, this uh, period in fourth edition, we try to limit it because of the language uh, similarity between Romania and uh, Moldova. And also we add uh, Poland as a new target uh, country uh, to, to start the collaboration uh, with medical tourism and healthcare industry. As you may uh, remember from the previous uh, exhibitions as well, uh, we are not only collaborating in terms of uh, medical tourism, also we are collaborating with uh, all our uh, collaborative countries uh, uh, in terms of education of doctors. We receive a lot of doctors from different countries, uh, from neighbor countries. We educate them and we share our experience and know-how uh, in our hospitals and we do uh, master classes and education as well in our hospitals for uh, doctors who would like to come and uh, join our uh, master classes and education, uh, academic education seminars uh, and uh, courses in Turkey. So, uh, so far, uh, due to the pandemic, we lost a little bit our capacity of uh, hosting uh, the international patient. Uh, let me just uh, give you briefly about our number of patients that we have received before pandemic 2019, we host over 1 million patients. Exactly, it was 1 million 87,000 patients from 165 countries we have host in our country. Uh, we have uh, treated them uh, carefully and we show our Turkish hospitality and uh, they back to their country happily and healthy as well. Uh, in the 2020, during the pandemic period, even it was difficult period for many countries. Uh, thanks to our uh, government, last 20 years has been done a uh, tremendous uh, reforms in healthcare and education as well. Uh, due to these uh, reforms, we have enough capacity 
to serve our nations uh, during the pandemic period and also uh, to receive international patients who are suffering from different diseases, from oncology, cardiology, uh, pediatric uh, bone marrow transplantation and other transplantation services in general. Uh, we only just closed our doors to our neighbors three months, first three months during the pandemic period. But after three months, thanks to our Ministry of Health and Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of Interior, that they uh, give us an opportunity to receive our patient from uh, all over the world. And till uh, August, there were some application and approval process to arrive uh, any uh, patient from abroad in 2020. But from 1st of August, thanks to our government that uh, they open uh, the gates to all patients who are willing to come and treat it in Turkey in different diseases. Since 1st of August, 2020, we started receiving and uh, welcoming all our international patients from 165 uh, countries and they start coming and um, not badly actually, we, we closed 2020 uh, around close to 500,000 patients. Uh, we lost 50% capacities, but this year uh, we are quite doing well. Uh, the first uh, third quarters of the year uh, till end of the September 2021, we already uh, over the numbers 750,000 patients, international patient arrivals to Turkey. I believe that till end of the year, we may exit uh, 1 million patient as uh, 2019 capacity. Uh, since we have uh, invested uh, last 15 year, 20 year, uh, more than uh, 50,000, 50 billion, uh, dollars investment in healthcare in hospitals. The private sector is tremendously invested and become a lot of chain of hospitals. Uh, there is some hospitals branded, uh, 35 chain hospitals so all surrounding of Turkey. And also uh, Turkish government has uh, taken uh, an initiative of uh, private public partnership investment with our uh, private sectors the government and private sector has been invested. Lately, uh, 22 uh, city hospitals and most of them has been opened and one of them in Istanbul, just one of the uh, PPP hospital, public private hospitals, Cham Sakura Ikitel Hospital, uh, 2,700 bed capacity, which is one of the biggest seismic, seismic uh, construction, construction building over 1 million square meters under one roof. So this is uh, one of the leading and, and biggest and uh, uh, mega project which has been completed by the government as PPP uh, contribution to healthcare uh, industry. So within all these reforms, uh, we have uh, we become a hub of healthcare uh, services in the region. Uh, we are receiving quite a good number from CIS market, Russian speaking countries from Middle East countries, from Africa. Uh, lately, uh, we do receive a lot of patients from Africa, but since the beginning, almost 16 years, we are uh, hosting uh, medical tourists from Europe as well, from Eastern Europe, from Western Europe, uh, even from Germany, uh, although Germany and uh, many other European countries are, uh, uh, they are well uh, in um, uh, healthcare services to their citizens. But there is so many, uh, so many uh, direction, which is like dental care, aesthetic cares, and so many other directions is not covered by the government or not covered by the social insurance uh, and very expensive to be treated in, in European uh, countries. And many European citizens uh, who live in uh, Western Europe, in Germany, in England, in Holland, in Belgium, even including Switzerland, are preferring to come to Turkey to be treated in Turkey for their dental care, for their aesthetic care, uh, aesthetic surgeries, and uh, some other uh, rehabilitation and physiotherapy services uh, as well. So we do receive as well from European insurance companies, a lot of patients uh, directly referred by, by the insurance because the cost-wise Turkey is always affordable and much uh, less cost than Europe. Uh, due to this reason, to, to cost cutting and to save 
to say to do saving uh, for the insurance companies they are preferring our uh, physiotherapy and rehabilitation and thermal resorts in order to send their patients uh, to turkey for uh, for rehabilitation and for physiotherapy in our uh, latest and art state of technologies uh, equipped uh, uh, by robotic uh, system uh, the rehabilitation and uh, physiotherapies so uh, due to this all this investment and reform of our country and stability of economy and stability of uh, the politics uh, last 20 years uh, really turkey become one of the preferred destination let me just share with you uh, according to the global healthcare travel council which i was the first uh, president for this organization the global healthcare travel council turkey is the founding member and there is 58 countries are member of global healthcare travel council uh, according to the global healthcare travel council announcement uh, turkey was the third country preferred country worldwide after united states and germany uh, it was preferred edition for medical tourism before pandemic period during the pandemic period we become first preferred destination because germany and united states was closed their borders to the international patient there was no possibility to travel to be treated in germany in united states so that's why turkey in 2020 and 2021 become number one preferred destination by world uh, citizens so we are welcoming everybody and anybody uh, are looking for affordable high quality standards of treatment and we do have very high uh, experience professors and doctors most of them over 15000 professors and doctors been educated and graduated in western countries even in united states they diploma by united states uh, universities they diploma by german universities they diploma by england universities and now those turkish citizens who has been graduated and arrived to that level back to turkey due to the latest investment and latest reform in the country back to turkey and today they are serving turkish citizens plus they are serving as turkish citizens other 165 countries citizens who are preferring to come and to be treated in turkey uh, not to take in too much of your time because we i i do have end of the uh, opening ceremony uh, i do have about 30 minute presentation detailed presentation all about uh, medical tourism in turkey so uh, not to keep our valuable guests and speakers uh, waiting uh, long because all they, they have their duty in the ministries and the consulars as well where they represent uh, Turkish uh, trade ministry uh, in those countries, uh, hosting countries. So uh, uh, before we are going to the uh, our distinguished speakers, we have seven minutes of video, uh, promotion video, talking about Turkish medical tourism industry and development. Let's have a watch seven minutes of video, then we will be back again. The art of medicine is the heritage of Anatolia. You are in Turkey, the place where the first hospital of the world was founded and Hippocrates was born and grew up. In these lands, we treated the diseases with water, precious plants, and music. Our thousands of years of medical tradition reached a new level today with the advanced technology. But hospitality of Turkey and its air useful for both soul and body is still the same. Turkey attracts everybody by its nature, history, dynamic social life, as well as the best and most effective treatment possibilities since long time. With its high standard hospitals and doctors known around the world, 
Turkey maintains its specialty of being the center of health of the region since long time. Because Turkey is at the intersection points of its continents. It is located at the center of Europe, Balkans, Russian, Middle East, and North Africa. Approximately one billion people can arrive at Turkey only with a few hours flight. Turkish Airlines carries millions of people from 120 countries and 290 cities to Turkey by direct flights. There is a reason why so many people prefer Turkey because Turkey offers the newest technology treatment systems at the same time with the world. With its competitive price policy, it is among first choices of those who are looking for the top quality service with optimum prices. Turkey provides comfort with its high standard hospitals during healing process, with its hospitals having Center of Excellence Awards and Joint Commission Accreditation Certificates, it maintains its privileged place in the region. An experienced team with 724 specialist services and air ambulances works for satisfaction of the guests. Experienced Turkish doctors who break grounds all around the world continues to control their patients after treatment. Thus, Turkey takes place on the top three in the world health tourism destinations. Turkey accommodates patients from 144 countries every year in the risky treatments and operations required high technology. It uses robotic surgery. Marrow, organ and stem cell transplantations are performed by awarded doctors through the latest technology. With innovative treatment systems such as inorganic organ production and transplantation, life-saving results are achieved. There is a progressive vision behind this success. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founder of Modern Republic of Turkey, started this vision by saying, entrust me to Turkish doctors. Today, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, president of the Republic, is still treated by Turkish doctors. Since the early years of the Republic, young doctors have completed their postgraduate education abroad. Turkish health sector has made a big progress with an investment of $30 billion in 15 promising successes in the treatment of common cancer and cardiovascular diseases. A complete healing is achieved in a short time by non-surgical treatments of the brain tumors. Children needing treatment in different branches such as blood diseases, marrow transplantation, heart surgery, brain tumors, etc. are also achieving health again in Turkey because the best treatment methods are applied with a smiling and kindly approach. Services allowing the children to have a pleasant time facilitate treatment processes. Children, our most precious existences, are deserving of this special attention. Also, there are many treatment alternatives for those who want to have children in Turkey. Couples are enjoying having children and growing their family with infertility treatment, advanced genetics applications, and in vitro fertilization methods.
Turkey is where the civilizations was born and continue. With its active city life, untouched nature and majestic history, Turkey transforms your treatment process into a comfortable and pleasant holiday. Three hundred seventy five member organizations, which adopted ethical principles of Turkish Health Care and Travel Council, work for happiness of the guests. We are at the intersection point of hearts and continents. Hope to see you soon. Right choice for your life. Turkey. Healing generations for centuries. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again online uh, to your uh, screens. Thank you for uh, being with us and thank you for joining our uh, uh, opening ceremony. And also thanks for joining uh, for three and four days of B2B uh, coming days uh, to conduct your uh, partnership uh, B2B uh, business to business uh, meetings with our Turkish exhibitors. Uh, valuable exhibitors in the systems uh, in the platform already been registered and you can visit their uh, stands uh, from the platform which you registered and also you can request uh, uh, your uh, B2B meetings to meet with uh, their representative from the uh, through the uh, platform channels. Uh, mostly uh, we are uh, requesting, uh, humbly requesting from all our exhibitors and participants that they conduct their meetings uh, through the platform that we can able to monitor and as well as uh, our ministry can monitor because uh, we can see from the system and communication that you are requesting some meetings through the WhatsApp or through the uh, email exchange and etc uh, to continue your uh, communication but we recommend and we humbly request that you do your first B2B meetings through our online platform systems that we can able to record your meetings and we can able to report to the ministry uh, how many meetings we have conducted in between our exhibitors and uh, professional visitors and the participants. This is what we humbly requesting from all our uh, registered uh, professional visitors for our platforms. Uh, well, since 2012, actually, we were collaborating closely and we are thanking to our Ministry of Trade, uh, which they are uh, supporting always with the ministry and with their representative in the countries, uh, their representative as trade consular, trade attaches. Uh, we, always, we always closely collaborate uh, together with our ministry since we have an incentives uh, of uh, organizing such online exhibition, digital online exhibitions we are organizing uh, collabor with collaboration with uh, our Minister of Trade and with their support as well. Uh, we are thanking to uh, Minister of Trade, first of all, and we thank to Minister of Tourism as well. We, we do cooperation uh, almost 15 years, last 15 years with our Ministry of Tourism because Minister of Tourism also, they open their uh, international exhibition uh, boots to us and they uh, give us uh, opportunity to represent uh, our uh, council and our um, medical tourism uh, stakeholders and uh, services in those internal exhibitions as well. And thanks to Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs, which are collaborating with our Minister of Trade. Lately, last week, uh, there were a special signature ceremony for cooperation between uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Minister of Trade in order to deliver uh, in 48 hours, visa access to Turkey in order if, if you need a visa. So many countries in Europe and so many countries in CIS market and so many countries in Middle East, they don't need, they are not required visa. They are free to, to travel to Turkey. But whoever from Africa and from many other countries uh, also, whoever need 
to uh, take visa to Turkey in order to travel to Turkey, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of uh, Trade has signed a special agreement uh, uh, in order to take it easier process and to deliver a health visa to our travelers in 48 hours. So this is a new development which has been already uh, signed between uh, two ministries in order to make it more easy and comfortable to our, uh, for our travelers who are uh, choosing Turkey, who are preferring to Turkey to uh, travel for healthcare and for uh, surgeries or for thermal resorts or for uh, well-being uh, centers. Uh, well, once again, I would like to thank to our uh, Ministry of Trade, their cooperation and their supports, tremendous supports uh, and contribution uh, in order that we can promote Turkish healthcare travel uh, in the uh, international market, in the international arena. We are cooperating with them since 2012 uh, when they start uh, their incentive program to support the development of medical tourism. As Turkish Healthcare Travel Council, I am the founding chairman uh, of the council uh, since 16 years. Uh, we have an executive board and executive president as well to the board. Every two years we do election and we do elect from the stakeholders, the management team for the uh, non-profit organization, uh, Turkish Healthcare uh, Travel Council, which is uh, working with uh, ethical understanding and standards. Uh, with 375 members and we have 92 countries representative offices in 92 countries we have 168 representative offices in in Romania in, in uh, Moldova we do have our representatives but uh, still we could not yet uh, sign any representative assign or appoint any representative in Poland we are looking forward to receive and require a requirement, any cooperation to represent Turkish Healthcare Travel Council officially in Poland. Uh, we welcome any uh, inquiries on it or any request in order that we can be represented in, represented in Poland as we are represented in 92 other uh, countries. Now, I would like to start with our distinguished and valuable uh, participant uh, speakers from Ministry of Trade uh, uh, representative. I would like to uh, start with our uh, Romania Bucharest uh, Trade Consular, uh, Mrs. Uh, Sude uh, Gurjan, will uh, address her message to us. Stream. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and uh, the, my colleagues from Moldova and uh, from Poland, and also dear participants, I would like to um, represent my warm greetings from Bucharest. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to express my gratitude for being here with uh, all of you today, and uh, thank you for the uh, organization of this event. Uh, as all we know, Turkey and Romania has significant economic and commercial relationships and uh, the total bilateral trade volume of Turkey and Romania is 6 billion and 600 million US dollars in 2020. According to this, these figures, uh, Turkey constitutes the most important uh, trade partner of Romania apart from the EU countries. And uh, I believe that there is a big potential to cooperate in the field of health sector with Romania. The COVID epidemic, which has affected the whole world, has uh, made it necessary for countries to make their health uh, infrastructure stronger. And uh, in this context, I believe that there will be cooperation opportunities in many areas healing the pandemic and uh, also uh, in the field of treatment of burn cases and dental treatments and uh, aesthetic uh, treatments as well. And also I would like to mention that uh, apart from the, our uh, bilateral trade relations and also uh, many Turkish investments uh, located in Romania, uh, there has been an increase in the number of the tourists coming from um, Romania to Turkey, especially in recent years. And uh, we know that uh, the uh, tourism in health sector is uh, 
increasing rapidly uh, for about the uh, last uh, two and two years. And uh, you can also uh, contact our office uh, if you need uh, any consultancy we can help. And um, I wish good health and success to all participants. Thank you. Very much, uh, uh, Mrs. Sude. Please keep uh, with us. Uh, I think also uh, we have a lot of uh, direct connection between Romanian city to Turkish cities. Yes, yes. So Antalya mm -hmm. and many other like Bodrum. I think there is a direct flight to Dalaman. Yes, uh, and, uh, well, from many uh, points from Romania, we have a. Uh, two uh, lines uh, between uh, Bucharest and uh, Istanbul every day and uh, Ankara as well and uh, also the seaside uh, cities as you mentioned and uh, from Constance also we have and uh, last year Cluj started and uh, there are uh, too many uh, um, flight uh, services between two countries so it's also uh, constitutes a very good uh, impact, uh, in my opinion. Well, uh, Romania and Turkey has uh, quite a very well uh, air bridge connection. Mm -hmm. yes. by, uh, by that, beside of that, uh, also Romanian patients, mostly, they are traveling by car. They are driving and they are coming because it's a few hour uh, drive from Romania to Turkey. Mm -hmm. They are crossing yes. the borders very easily. Mm -hmm. And they can come to Trakian region, uh, the first city uh, where they reach Edirne or Chor Chor Chorlu. We have many nice hospitals in Edirne and Chorlu also. They can even, they don't need to come down to, to Istanbul. They can get the treatment in Chorlu or in uh, Edirne or in Tekirda uh, region. Uh, and they can go back driving again. So that is uh, another opportunity for Romanian patients. Uh, yes, you are absolutely right, and uh, the geographical uh, proximity between countries uh, is, a, is the transportation. And due to the pandemic, you know, the, um, many people uh, do not prefer to take a plane, and uh, it's very understandable. Uh, by car, it's just uh, six or seven hours uh, to travel from Bucharest to uh, Istanbul. So uh, to to Edirne about four hours drive, or to take yes, a drive, five, uh, but we can say five. Something. Five hour, which is yes, which five. is not not so long drive actually. Yes. Uh, it's a reasonable drive, and as you mentioned that due due, due to the uh, pandemic and COVID, mostly people are uh, preferring to travel their own car in order not to interact with other conjected uh, population uh, during the trip. Well, thank you very much, Mrs. Sud, and thank you for your understanding as well for the uh, mix of technical uh, voice messages. Uh, thanks for joining and uh, your contribution and your support. Now I would like to uh, give the uh, floor to Mrs. Elif Turakoğlu from Kishinev, from Moldova. Uh, she is our uh, representative of Minister of Trade as a consular, trade consular in, uh, in Kishinev. Let's listen to her message to our audience. Thank you. Concerned participants, first of all, I'd like to tell you that I'm very pleased to participate in the opening of, of the fourth Turkish Health Tourism Exhibition. First of all, I'd like to tell you that I'm very pleased to participate in the opening of the fourth Turkish Health Tourism Exhibition which is held under patronage of Turkish Health Tourism Development Council. Just at this time, when we are faced with a pandemic, that we are worried and at this time, the health services are more important than ever. My congratulations to everyone who has supported and influenced the organization, especially Mr. Emin Chekmak, Chairman of the Council for Development of Health Tourism and I wish the event to be fruitful. As a result of our growing economic and trade relations with our ally and friend of Turkey, Moldova, and Turkey has become one of Moldova's most important trading partners. The volume of trade between our countries is increasing every year, 
and we are moving forward with confident steps towards our goals. On the other hand, our Turkish companies are constantly investing into many different areas in Moldova, especially into food, beverage, contracting, hospital management, information and communications, textile and clothing production, accommodation and catering services, and also educational services. In addition, Turkey takes the first place among the countries most preferred by Moldovan citizens for summer tourism. Most people from Moldova have visited Turkey at least once and know our country well. I believe that economic and trade relations, which are developing a little more every year, will grow even more thanks to friendly relations and mutual cooperation between our countries. In fact, if you go deeper, health tourism is one of the oldest types of tourism in the world. Since the ancient times, sick people have traveled to distant places in search of healing. Today, the number of medical travel is increasing day by day. In this sense, Turkish hospitals are equipped with the state-of-art medical equipment. And now it is one of the most popular destinations for health tourism in recent years thanks to the services provided at high quality standards, affordable cost, the treatment of experienced medical specialists who speak foreign language, short waiting times and geographic availability. Before the pandemic in 2019, more than 606,000 patients preferred to receive the medical services in our country as part of health tourism. In this context, I think that our country, which is located an hour and a half away from Moldova and where you can easily travel only with identity card, is an attractive center for Moldovan citizens in the field of health tourism. Therefore, I believe that this exhibition will be a good opportunity to establish and to develop the cooperation and exchange of experience between representatives of the sectors that operate in the field of health tourism in Moldova and Turkey. In this regard, I hope that the exhibition which is organized in this direction will establish the productive and useful cooperation for each participant. I wish you all healthy days. Best regards. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Elif. Thanks for your uh, great message. Uh, as, uh, as far as I know also that from Moldova to Turkey for different cities, there, there, there are direct flight as well. And there is some Moldovian travel uh, agencies are organizing some bus uh, trip to Turkey as well. And the people are traveling through the borders uh, directly to the region. Uh, how is the connecting bridge, bridge between uh, to inform the audience between uh, Moldova and Turkey, how, how easy people can travel to Turkey? Uh, there are, uh, every day there are flights to Turkey uh, from Moldova, uh, especially in Istanbul. And in summer times, uh, there are flights to Antalya, uh, which is the um, most uh, preferred city uh, popular especially. and preferred city for Moldova yes yes for Moldovans and uh, there are some uh, flights to Izmir uh, in summer times and uh, as I know they start they will start to uh, flights in Cappadocia as well. uh, in uh, recent time um, uh, it's closer to uh, especially in Istanbul for Moldovans it takes one other and a half hour uh, to come to uh, Turkey. And uh, as you said, uh, buses and uh, road transportation is e also easier and uh, optional for uh, Moldovan people. It takes nearly uh, 12 hours uh, to, uh, to come to the well. border. And there are too much options to uh, come to uh, Turkey for um, making uh, summer holidays at the same time to uh, uh, use uh, healthcare uh, tourism as well. 
Uh, as far as I know, during my visit to Moldova, to Kishinev, uh, before pandemic, uh, I know that there is a Turkish investor uh, has invested on hospitals in Kishinev. Uh, there is a Turkish investor who invested in general hospitals, which is available there. But anyway, there is uh, not all direction in this hospital can be served as surgeries and treatment and many Moldovians, uh, patients, uh, heavy cases like oncology cases and transplantology cases are traveling to Turkey and preferring to Turkey to, uh, for the treatments because high quality and high standards and also affordable price comparing to European uh, countries. Uh, as far as I know, also in, in Bukresh, we have a Turkish uh, investor, uh, Turkish uh, clinics been invested for radiotherapy, radio-oncology therapy by uh, Bozlu Holding, uh, I believe. Uh, I don't know whether, uh, except one hospital in Kishinev, uh, are there any other uh, local Turkish investors uh, for healthcare services, uh, Mrs. Elif? Uh, yes, yes, uh, uh, you are absolutely right. There is a uh, Turkish investor, which is the biggest private uh, investor uh, in Moldova. And the second one, uh, there is a clinic uh, for uh, pediatric uh, patients in Moldova, and uh, their uh, owner is uh, is Turkish. also Turkish. Mm -hmm. That's good. So there, there is there are collaboration in terms of investments, healthcare investments. Also, uh, there are collaboration on uh, exchange of know-how and experience between Turkish doctors. Moldovian, uh, the same things for uh, Kishinev uh, or for uh, the same things for Romania. Are there is many exchange of uh, know-how and information, and also uh, Turkish uh, entrepreneur investors are investing in Romania and in Moldova uh, in healthcare uh, industries as well. Uh, we have many uh, investors are investing in all other uh, countries, including. Africa nowadays is the new uh, new market for us, but Moldova and Romania is started the collaboration almost 20 years ago. We are collab collaborating closely in healthcare uh, services. Uh, we are investing there and we are receiving patients and we are educating and uh, giving the master classes to the doctors. We would like to increase more and more our collaboration with Romania and Moldova of course, uh, as well as uh, Poland, we would like to do the same, uh, replicate the same services and same uh, understanding in, Polo in, po in Poland as well. Thank you for uh, joining Mrs. Elif, uh, for us uh, lively and uh, giving this uh, fruitful and uh, beneficial information. Thanks to Mrs. Sude as well from uh, uh, Bukresh. Uh, I would like to invite uh, to uh, the stage our Warsaw, uh, trade Councillor Mr. Attila Kızılarslan is uh, the representative of Ministry of Trade in Warsaw in Poland. So he will address online, lively his speech to us. Please go ahead, Mr. Attila. This Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, dear Mr. Chairman, dear distinguished uh, representatives of the private and public entities and organizations, uh, dear my colleagues in post and unpost, and dear distinguished audience, uh, firstly, I wish you a very good morning from Warsaw. Jin dobre, dobro utro i zdrasve. So let me briefly explain where Poland stands uh, economically and physically. Uh, then I'll go ahead. Uh, Poland is at the midpoint of uh, Euro-Asia and European countries, and also from north to uh, west, uh, north to south from uh, Scandinavians till the uh, Mediterranean. So it's a good uh, hub and it's a good bridge uh, to go through that uh, brings the advantages and disadvantages. And Poland, uh, Poland is coming from Poland, it is Slavic, it means the flat area. So it has uh, the advantages and disadvantages. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, it had many, uh, let's say, sad experiences and uh, historical uh, developments uh, because of the wars. And it has so many advantages as being the bridge uh, that uh, all transportation goes and uh, comes. 
So they take the uh, benefits of this uh, Bitcoin. And uh, as you are totally aware, uh, Poland was an Eastern uh, Bloc country, and it was the capital of uh, East Bloc. And after the dissolution of uh, East Bloc, Poland was the first uh, to stand on, stand up and uh, uh, go into commercial and economic relations with the different countries. Uh, at, at the beginning, uh, with its own periphery, then to have broad uh, uh, destinations. And we are uh, totally aware that Poland is the first uh, to come to Turkey uh, to start commercial, uh, let's say, small trades, partners. And then the others, Russians and Ukrainians, uh, come later on. And uh, Poland uh, is uh, now an EU country. And uh, since the uh, Polish accession to the EU, uh, Poland had shown a very remarkable, very drastic uh, change in its economy. And it's the, uh, it's the uh, remarkable and the, uh, uh, let's say, directed uh, economy, uh, which, is, which has been showing uh, very high economic growth rates uh, for the last 15 to 16 years. And uh, it's still considered uh, to be a, a reasonable uh, costing country and a family country in all European countries. But the, uh, the gap uh, between the West European countries and North uh, European countries and Poland is getting uh, less and less uh, year by year. And uh, it gives more advantages uh, to Poland uh, to take further steps. And as being the EU member, uh, because of, because of uh, the EU, EU funds, Poland had utilized these funds very effectively. And uh, it helped uh, Poland uh, to uh, update its infrastructure, superstructure, uh, technical issues, education or medical something. And uh, up to now, they are really using it very efficient, uh, even during the uh, COVID-19 times. And uh, so by, by the help of the EU funds and by the uh, good management of the uh, budget, uh, Poland uh, had increased its welfare, uh, the per capita income, and Poland has no budget deficit up to now, but because of COVID, uh, the government had taken decision uh, to uh, give 20% uh, of GNP uh, as a uh, deficit, just to recover uh, the loss of the uh, malign effects of the COVID-19. So up to now, they are doing well. So uh, and within these developments, uh, for sure, uh, the real wages highly increased. And also the uh, consumption patterns and consumption uh, capabilities of the Polish citizens had sharply increased. And uh, the consumption patterns uh, had uh, taken a new phase uh, as uh, following the, or a little bit admired the West uh, consumption. So uh, up to now they are doing well. So uh, when we are talking about the medical sector, uh, of course, for sure, some Soviet uh, implementations and applications uh, are uh, a very minor heritage are still on, but uh, these are being removed uh, yearly, day, year by year, and uh, it's more uh, open. And uh, it was mostly public uh, managed, public uh, administered, but now it's a mix of good mix of public and private uh, management. And uh, they are uh, bringing a lot of uh, investment and finance for the medical sector, but the potential has not been attained yet. There is a huge gap to attain the potential. And uh, of course, the COVID-19 had a really malign effects all over the economy, but on the other hand, uh, there, is, there emerged a very uh, big awareness uh, for the health issues. So the health is, uh, has become a prior issue than other economic and uh, commercial issues. So there's a long way to go for medical sector uh, in, in terms of uh, every subsectors of uh, the medical sector. And uh, there is a finance for it. And uh, we can say that uh, Polish uh, real wages highly increased, so they are demanding more than before. So it, it shows that uh, they are looking for better health services and better, let's say, uh, personal care uh, issues. And uh, they are looking for new destinations. Uh, and uh, they are 
uh, up to now, you know, uh, Poland uh, was a hub for a labor force, but because of uh, the uh, crazy competition among the West European countries, there is a need uh, for a qualified labor force. And once Polish citizens uh, had migrated to, uh, especially to Britain and to other uh, West uh, or welfare European countries, so uh, they uh, went with the technical uh, qualifications. Now, uh, as all countries in Europe uh, is fighting for the qualified labor force, Poland is also in lack, lack of the labor force, especially the qualified ones, because of the higher uh, incomes in, in the West. So they are trying to, uh, let's say, compensate uh, from the other uh, neighboring countries but uh, the potentials cannot be uh, attained as before. So uh, it, it brings that uh, Poland has a finance or a little bit more, uh, let's say, accumulated uh, capital for the medical sector, but uh, in technical terms and in labor, I mean, uh, labor force terms, uh, it, there's a lack uh, to go for. And that's why uh, as the dental, medical and surgical practices uh, Poland is doing well, but uh, because of the lack of cap uh, lack of uh, labor force, there's a, a long appointment time lapse. So uh, it really uh, disturbs people, and the people hesitate uh, to go for the uh, Polish uh, medical services. So they are looking for new, I, uh, let's say, alternatives and new destinations. And Turkey uh, is one of a good destination uh, to be in. And in terms of when we combine with the tourism and health, uh, in terms of tourism, uh, uh, the Polish uh, citizens had numbered to uh, 840,000 uh, before COVID. And after COVID, the numbers uh, again uh, began to uh, hike uh, in good uh, percentages. And we expect the Polish uh, say tourists in Turkey to be something like 1 million. And among 1 million, for sure, uh, there is a good demand uh, for medical uh, treatment or healthcare issues. And Turkey uh, has a lot of uh, potential capability and capacity uh, to uh, supply or provide all their needs. And uh, especially during the COVID-19 times, uh, here all Europe was blocked. Uh, there's a land, uh, there's a lot. But uh, they managed to, I mean, many thousands of Polish managed to fly to, let's say, Mediterranean countries especially to Turkey, for example. And uh, personally, I know uh, hundreds and hundreds of Polish people who had their remote work uh, in Turkey while they're enjoying the uh, Turkish seashores and working together there. So uh, there's, there's an awareness uh, that uh, Polish people may go to Turkey uh, in confidence and with a reasonable uh, cost terms and have their medical or healthcare treatment or dental treatment there. So, uh, I mean, in that respect, uh, we are expecting more and more uh, to uh, go to, but uh, we should for sure uh, cooperate with many uh, organizations uh, here in Poland and Turkey as well. That's why your organization is uh, a good fit for it and we are totally uh, ready uh, to uh, cooperate and collaborate uh, by all ways and means. And uh, but b b before, I mean, uh, besides the positive, uh, let's say, uh, impacts or the expectations, we also have some possible uh, negative impacts or uh, factors that may emerge uh, in coming years. First of all, uh, Poland has been uh, providing or financing uh, many funds uh, from EU countries, and uh, within the last uh, EU uh, multiple year multi uh, annual uh, uh, say budgeting, Poland and uh, uh, Hungary uh, were the opposing, opposing, opposing sides uh, because of the rules of law uh, issue uh, that they think that this uh, EU, uh, EU, let's say, cannot uh, go into their sovereignty issues. So they want to use the uh, rules of law issue by it, their own practice. So uh, EU had bind, uh, bind this uh, issue to the funds. So Poland may face with a lack of funds or blockage of funds uh, from EU. So which uh, implies that Poland should use its own budgetary uh, 
uh, finance uh, that could be used for other uh, projects. So uh, if uh, Poland uh, would be in lack of this EU funds, of course, it will affect the uh, real uh, income and the real wages and the consumption patterns of the uh, citizens because of the lack of funds. So it may have uh, adverse effects uh, over uh, the, uh, let's say, health uh, tourism. Uh, these are all main topics that I can reveal right now. But uh, if any uh, of us uh, would like to have broader information regarding Poland and health sector, our office is ready to avail all its efforts uh, for the uh, required uh, requests. So thank you very much for your uh, passions and hope to uh, give you a service uh, in coming days. Thank you. Mr. Attila, thank you very much. Please keep with us. Uh, I think uh, uh, there is a direct flight from uh, Warsaw to Antalya by yep, Corendon yep. Airlines yep. as well. It's, it has recently been set, yes. Very Already nice. started, so that's yep. uh, what, what, what I want to announce it as well because as far, as far as I know that they started direct flight and they are connecting to Antalya. Yep. Antalya is one of our major city, capital uh, of tourism city. Yeah, where also, there, are so lot of Poland. there are so many charters from different uh, Polish uh, locations to Dalaman and Antalya as well. As well. So uh, Dalaman is very close to uh, Fethiye, uh, Barmaris, Bodrum. Yep. There are many uh, private uh, dental clinic and aesthetic uh, clinic where they serve for medical tourism or they serve their healthcare services to the uh, international travelers. Perfect. So the Polish people, the Polish citizen can combine their travel uh, holiday together with dental uh, treatment as the British are doing the same. They yeah. are coming for holiday, but they are combining with their dental treatment or any kind of surgery treatments or even hair transplantation treatments. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, not least, uh, that, uh, but last, uh, I would like to mention some issues. Uh, as Poland is an emerging, still emerging economy and quite doing well right now, uh, but you cannot uh, expect Poland to have such, let's say, retirement funds accumulated at the system as in Britain or in Nordic countries or in Germany. So, I mean, for uh, using the re uh, retirement funds uh, into uh, the, uh, let's say, uh, health sector, uh, we still need some time. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Attila, being with us Please. as our trade consular for Warsaw, for Poland. Uh, thanks for your speech and the information you, you shared with us. Uh, Ankara is our capital, political capitals, uh, but the trade and business mostly in Istanbul, but uh, the, the country lead by Ankara, by uh, capital. So uh, from capital, from the uh, headquarter of Ministry of Trade, we have uh, the head of the departments uh, of Ministry of uh, Trade, uh, Mr. Tarek Aksoy, uh, thanks to him that we are uh, collaborating uh, since long time together in order to uh, contribute and support medical tourism sectors uh, to promote in uh, many different countries, including Romania and uh, uh, Poland and uh, Moldova. Uh, thanks to their contribution. I would like to leave the floor to Mr. Tarek Aksoy to address his speech and his messages to our audience from three countries. Thank you. Please, Mr. Tarek, the floors are yours. Thank you, Mr. Takmak, the head of Turkish Healthcare Tra Travel Council, and High Excellency, Mr. Minister from Northern Cyprus, Turkish Republic, uh, respectable trade councillors, honorable participants, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I greet you with my respects. I am Tarek Aksoy, as announced, and the, the head of Health and Travel Services Department in the Directorate General of International Services Trade in the Ministry of Trade uh, of Turkish Republic. Uh, before starting my speech, I would like to bring Mr. Alperen Kaca's greetings to all of you, who is, who is the uh, Deputy General Manager. Uh, just an hour ago, uh, a big explosion occurred just across our building. That's why he's not able to come and attend this meeting uh, for technical reasons. Uh, 
Uh, after that, I would like to thank Mr. Emin Chakmak for organizing such a well-organized and well-attended event, uh, which eventually contributes to present and promote our country's opportunities in health tourism and uh, to, to, to develop new, new business partnerships. Uh, dear particip participants, uh, as you all know, especially after the global COVID-19 pandemic, the healthcare sector gained prominence around the world where the health tourism sector has already been a starting services sector, not only for the world, but also for Turkey. Uh, for many years, our government has been heavily investing in the infrastructure, superstructure, organization, and especially intellectual capital of the healthcare sector. And uh, anyone affiliated with Turkey would have testified uh, this transformation. Thanks to that transformation, as Mr. Chakmak touched upon before, our healthcare institutions became uh, serving a wide range of treatments and uh, operations at international standards by uh, overqualified doctors and other professionals in, uh, in our uh, five-star hotel equivalent facilities. Uh, considering our capabilities and potential in one hand, and, and the, the reality that health tourism bears an uh, intersectoral importance for our economy. On the other hand, uh, this sector uh, actually needs a special approach for us. Uh, as many of you witnessed, Turkey has been a global brand in services sectors such as tourism and movies, TV series, uh, which are also linked with uh, health tourism. As, as uh, any guest visiting Turkey for health purposes is also uh, automatically involved in other tourism activities and is able to see the magnificent corners of Turkey, which uh, he or she has already watched in Turkish series. Uh, stemming from that intersectoral trait of health, health tourism sector, the sector has been in the core of our initiatives. Uh, in this respect, delivered by our minister since 2012, uh, special support programs are implemented in order to strengthen the capabilities of Turkish healthcare sector uh, to increase its promotional power and ex uh, especially to create world-class trade marks. Uh, thanks to our special support programs, the number of tourists visiting Turkey for health purposes has folded three times between 2012 and 2019, uh, which is before the global pandemic outbreak. Uh, delivered by the uh, before mentioned support programs, uh, today we, we have been gathered to express our realities and promises uh, in order to strengthen our valuable partnerships, partnerships with you uh, respectable guests. And as Mr. Chakmak has mentioned, uh, I would like to uh, re-announce our latest development about health visas. Uh, according to the agreement just uh, signed uh, five days ago between uh, Minister of Trade, our Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Turkish Republic, health tourists who are obliged to have visa while entering Turkey will be able to apply to a special health visa application which is deliverable in 48 hours after the application. Uh, I hope uh, this is going to ease the selection process of potential health tourists uh, who, wish, who wish to come to Turkey, actually. Uh, and to conclude, I hope uh, this event will bring great outcomes and business collaborations for all of you. Uh, thank you, and I wish a good luck for you all. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tarek, and thanks for your uh, support. Always you've been uh, supportive in the ministry in order to conduct this online uh, exhibitions and other activities which we are performing the last uh, few years, almost uh, now nine years, we are collaborating with the Ministry of Trade. Uh, since long time, you are in the ministry and uh, yeah. uh, you are uh, highly uh, contributed uh, us uh, for this development. Thanks for this uh, contribution and, and, and your support. And thanks to the ministry and thanks to the Turkish government, which are uniquely supporting uh, the healthcare industry and 
medical tourism stakeholders individually and also the organization wise as we are association and council uh, we are getting our uh, support tremendous supports by the uh, by the ministry we do a promotion and marketing uh, in social media as well as in online uh, exhibitions we started uh, this year we are conducting this is the fourth editions that we are uh, organizing and still we are planning to organize the fifth edition in uh, uh, Nordic and Baltic countries. Then in January uh, 2022, we are moving to Middle East after to West Africa, East Africa. And we are going to come back again to West Europe, uh, Germany, German speaking countries, then French speaking countries. And then we will move to uh, England, uh, Great Britain. Uh, we are willing to conduct in 2022 uh, seven more uh, exhibition, online exhibition, in order to complete our targeted uh, audience, 123 countries. Uh, we, we targeted with online exhibitions, 123 countries, uh, including United States and Canada, will be our last exhibition in July in 2022. Hopefully, if we are still healthy and uh, alive, uh, to uh, to conduct this uh, planet uh, organization. Uh, I'm really thanking to the ministry uh, about uh, this contribution. It's a great contribution and great uh, incentives, uh, support in order to uh, transfer our voice and our messages online due to the pandemic. We cannot travel uh, to those countries, to these countries, but online at least we are meeting with our uh, counterparts, uh, doctors, uh, insurance companies, uh, the uh, charity foundations, which they are referring a lot of patients as well to Turkey, the charity foundations, uh, in order to meet them online and talk and give them the, uh, the, the latest development and the, the position of Turkey, uh, which are receiving uh, patients even during the pandemic period, because we do have, as I mentioned, we do have enough capacity to serve Turkish citizens during the pandemic period and also serve international patient uh, requirement, which is uh, coming from different uh, countries. Uh, we are still keeping our uh, uh, stage and uh, stream in Ankara uh, with us, as uh, Mr. Tarek said that normally deputy directors, Mr. Alper and Kachar, uh, will be with us, but due to some uh, small accidents happen across the building of uh, the Ministry of Trade, uh, a natural gas pipe, I think, has been exploded. Uh, yeah, yeah. In the it's under control right now. Uh, you have to evacuate uh, all uh, ministry for, for time being. Uh, so that's why for these technical uh, subjects, uh, Mr. Alperan will be not with us uh, today, uh, but he sent his regards and uh, he's always uh, supportive uh, as well for all our uh, activities, uh, thanks to him uh, from here. And I would like to now leave the floor to the General Director of the Ministry of Trade, Mr. Emre Orhan Östelli. He will address his messages to you. Travel Council. Now, Mr. Your Excellency, Honorable Trade Councillors and Trade Attaches, Mr. Chairman, the Head of Turkish Healthcare Travel Council, Mr. Çakmak, Honorable Participants from Turkey and our brotherly European countries, ladies and gentlemen. This is Emre Ostelli from Ministry of Trade of Republic of Turkey as Director General of International Trade and Services. Today, in this virtual exhibition, I have the honor to address yourselves on behalf of my government and my ministry. As you all know, since the beginning of the pandemic, we have been using virtual platforms to continue our business activities uh, and we have uh, recently been getting more used to it. I'm sure uh, we would all have preferred to meet in face-to-face -face events, but even in the post-pandemic period, we could be also take, continuing to take advantage of these kind of platforms or, her, or perhaps the hybrid ones. Having said this, without taking much of your time, uh, to enable solid, solid business contacts. Very briefly, I would like to touch upon the importance we attribute to services trade and especially health tourism in Turkey. As you may all appreciate, being the biggest part of all, our, uh, all uh, economies of the world today, services sector have a significant role on Turkish economy as well as our partners. Being fully aware of this fact, we are working towards having more share from the global services sector where we believe Turkey and our partners have 
uh, more potentials. In this regard, apparently, health tourism stands in the core of our initiatives uh, since it bears, bears a great potential for our economy uh, as it directly influences other sectors such as software, transportation, tourism, and gastronomy. Turkish healthcare systems, well established and quality facilities, well educated human resources, highly operational capacities, capabilities, and success ratios, as well as Turkish people's in a, uh, innovative spreads and our advantageous geography as Turkey are the factors why we trust in our healthcare sector. Apart from that, having this opportunity, I, could, uh, I cannot avoid myself to mention once again the importance we attribute to tourism and sport tourism opportunities in Turkey. As you, as you may all appreciate, one of the best advantages of Turkey in this field is the suitability for doing different sport branches at the same time in the same region. Having said this, being among one of, the, one of our sport programs, this virtual event of today, as I'm informed uh, that consisting of uh, 583 participants from three European countries and 35 participants from Turkey, is really precious for us. Ending my remarks, I would like to thank once again Mr. Chakmak and the Turkish Healthcare Travel Council for organizing this event and all participants for joining us. I believe, thanks to, the, to this event of today, we will have most fruitful outcomes and further business collaborations between our countries. Thank you all again for joining and listening to us. I wish you best of luck today and throughout the program tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Dr. Emre for his speech. Uh, thank you very much, uh, all of you. Uh, we have uh, a guest from North Cyprus, Dr. Ahmed Savashan. Uh, he is the chairman of uh, North Cyprus uh, Global Healthcare uh, Travel Council. Uh, and uh, he is representing North Cyprus and promoting North Cyprus mostly as IVF destination. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, are you there with us? Merhaba, Başka. Merhabalar, nasılsınız? Mr. Çok Ahmed ederim. is the chairman of uh, North Cyprus. Uh, kısa bir mesajınızı alalım, ben tercüme edeyim. Uh, Doktor Ahmet isterseniz. Evet, ben bütün katılımcılara merhaba demek istiyorum. I would like to say hello to all participants and all audience. Sizlere Kuzey Kıbrıs Türk Cumhuriyeti'den selamlar, sevgiler gönderiyorum. Warm regards from North Cyprus, from here to all of you. Bizler Kıbrıs, Kuzey Kıbrıs olarak başta IVF tedavileri olmak üzere pek çok hasta konusunda sağlık turizmi yapmaya başladık. We started medical tourism and healthcare services, especially in IVF, but all other direction as well. We are serving to many international patients in North Cyprus, a beautiful uh, islands beside uh, next to the uh, next to Turkey. Doktorlarımız bu iki gün içerisinde başta IVF tedavilerde sunduğumuz avantajları anlatacaklar ve e, katılımcı ülkelerle işbirliği yapmak için e, girişimde bulunacaklar. There will be some uh, North Cyprus doctors about IVF. They will have in the webinar programs their presentation about the IVF services and IVF programs uh, in North Cyprus. Amacımız e, buraya katılan ülkelerle e, iyi bir işbirliği yapmak ve e, ülkemizin sağlık turizminin gelişmesine yardımcı olmak. We are willing and hoping to collaborate with the countries who is the participant of this online exhibition in order to increase our collaboration between us and to help uh, the citizens who are suffering from different diseases and especially uh, IVF treatments who the families would like to have a children have no capability in natural way but uh, in, in the way of IVF, infertility uh, system can be done with uh, good and uh, high quality services by North Cyprus uh, clinics and hospitals. Hepinize şimdiden çok teşekkür ediyorum. Size de başkan bu fırsatı bizlere verdiğiniz için teşekkür ediyorum. We would like to thank you very much for all of you and all the participants and he's thanking to our organization that we give this opportunity and I would like to thanks uh, to our ministry 
which Ministry of Trade, which is giving this opportunity because we discuss with them as well in order to uh, promote uh, North Cyprus uh, in our exhibitions, uh, especially in the direction of IVF, which Turkey by the law cannot perform some application uh, in North Cyprus can be uh, apply like surrogated mothers in Turkey, which is not possible to apply it. Uh, it is possible to do in uh, in Cyprus and donation, uh, eggs donations can be done as well in Cyprus according to the law, but Turkey is cannot be supplied. For those who are looking for surrogated mother and uh, egg donations for the IVF treatments, they can choose and prefer to go to Cyprus via Istanbul flight. There is daily basis from uh, Sabiha Gökçen and from uh, Istanbul Iga airport, uh, the main airport. There is a lot of uh, connections, direct flight from Istanbul via Istanbul to North Cyprus daily basis from morning till evening, more than 10 flights, I think, a day. So there is a good bridge between Turkey and North Cyprus. And we are uh, closely collaborating and North Cyprus also a member of Global Healthcare Travel Council and Dr. Ahmed Savaşan, Vice President of the Global Healthcare Travel Council at the same time. Now I would like to show you shortly the North uh, Cyprus promotion video. That's short three minutes of video. Let's watch the beauty of islands and also the healthcare services.
Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, North Cyprus as well, uh, preferred destination for retired British. The British people, uh, mostly they come to North Cyprus and they retire. They, they spend the rest of their time uh, as a retirement uh, place uh, in North Cyprus because the weather is uh, quite uh, mild and uh, very uh, nice all over the years. And also North Cyprus are promoting retirement tourism, uh, senior tourism and retirement tourism, uh, 50 plus age uh, already retired Europeans. Uh, Cyprus, North Cyprus is one of the preferred destination at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, joining uh, the opening ceremony. Uh, we are uh, shortly going to uh, end up our uh, opening ceremony. Uh, we were expecting the North Cyprus Minister of Tourism to be joined with us, His Excellency Fikret Atoğlu. But unfortunately, uh, this week, uh, it's happened suddenly, the government of North Cyprus has been resigned. And now uh, there is some uh, discussion in the, in, the, in the islands, whether they are going to go to the early election or uh, the new uh, to, to, to settle or to establish a new government. Uh, we are waiting the news from North Cyprus, what going to be next, because the government uh, already has resigned uh, for this period. Uh, and uh, we were expe expecting his speech and his uh, participation. But unfortunately, due to this reason, he is not going to be with us. From now on, uh, we have three videos actually been recorded by uh, my teams. Uh, I will going to talk about uh, roadmap. Uh, what is medical tourism, first of all? I mean, I will going to uh, give a short uh, video explanation about uh, medical, what is medical tourism, then about roadmaps and other video, second video, talking about the roadmap, how we can collaborate together between our stakeholders, between the participant and uh, you as professional visitors and buyers, how we can collaborate and what we have to do. And then after the uh, second video, short promotional uh, adverti advertising videos for the uh, Turkish healthcare travel. And then uh, there will be about half an hour long presentations uh, video by myself being recorded by my team talking about the uh, opportunities and uh, possibilities of medical healthcare travel to Turkey uh, also. Uh, once again, I would like to thank to all our uh, participants from uh, from ministry, uh, from the head office, and also from the uh, trade consular from Moldova, Romania, and Poland, thanks to their online uh, participation and their messages given to our audience. Uh, we are glad and we are happy uh, to host them in our opening ceremony and their support and contribution as well. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Turkey, as I mentioned, uh, are welcoming all kind of uh, treatments uh, in surgeries, uh, as well as wellness uh, and spa uh, centers, as well as hot spring uh, natural waters and resources we do have in Turkey, thermal resorts. We do have in our webinars, a lot of uh, different direction of treatments. Many valuable professors are gonna talk and share their experience about the diseases, the treatment methods, and the technologies, and also some of our spa and wellness resorts, they will gonna pre present and uh, they will gonna give the information and share their information, what kind of services together with the spa and wellness they are providing, and also, uh, of course, uh, other uh, services from thermal uh, resorts from Afyon City and from Bodrum uh, Wellness uh, and also from uh, Sapanja, there will be wellness centers, which will be in our, uh, in our program and uh, going to be uh, in the webinar programs today, afternoon, tomorrow, and after tomorrow. Our B2B are going to uh, continue uh, till the Sunday uh, because we would like to give more opportunity to the participants, to the visitors who cannot conduct the B2B uh, during uh, the weekdays, if they are working, they have uh, a duty of uh, doing some work in their hospitals or in their companies, they have the options of having a conducting meeting on Saturday and Sunday as well. We are 
prolonging the programs two more days. Normally, our official programs will be end on uh, Saturday, but we are prolonging uh, two more days, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, you have the opportunity to have the B2B uh, during the Saturday and Sunday as well, uh, if you cannot conduct your meetings within today, tomorrow, and after tomorrow. Uh, I would like to invite all our uh, participants, professional registered participants from three countries, please send your request uh, to our uh, participants from uh, Turkey, the exhibitors, in order to conduct your meetings uh, through the platform, online, uh, video, uh, conversation in between you, that in order that you can build uh, a collaboration between uh, your company or your organization, your organization or yourself. Now I'm going to leave you with uh, my three uh, videos um, with the roadmaps, uh, what is medical tourism roadmaps and healing generation for centuries presentation. And I would like to thanks to all participants and all valuable speaker during uh, participated during our opening ceremony. Uh, we will gonna meet online again at four o'clock panel discussion between myself our director from Romania, our director from Moldova, and our uh, directors from Ukraine uh, going to be joining three uh, network office uh, representative directors of Turkish Healthcare Travel Council. We are going to talk uh, as panel discussion, lively, online, uh, how we are uh, receiving and welcoming the inquiries of medical tourists and how we are processing and how we are uh, serving them and following up uh, from uh, A to Z, uh, from a starting point of uh, getting the request till the end of the uh, treatment and coming back to the country and still uh, how we are following, uh, we do follow up to uh, our uh, patients. Uh, we will gonna discuss lively in uh, 16 o'clock, uh, at four o'clock in the afternoon, 16th hour. Uh, so uh, according to uh, Romania and uh, and and uh, Moldova, the same uh, time uh, Zoom. Actually, we are at four o'clock, but uh, according to Poland, uh, going to be three o'clock uh, Poland time. Our uh, live uh, panel discussion, and uh, I will leave you with my uh, presentation and videos, and then we will going to meet again at four o'clock with our panel discussion. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your time and valuable time. Uh, sparing to uh, participate and joining to our online exhibition.